All right, we're working on another learn pack exercise, and this time we're going to focus on tables. In this particular task, we need to recreate the table shown in the image provided. Learn pack has given us instructions on what we need to do in each step. To create a table in HTML, the first thing we need to consider is the table tag. We add the table tag, and within it, we'll place the necessary information. For now, we will only add a width and a border to the table. So we assign the width attribute as requested. We set it to 100% just like that, and it's ready. Additionally, we're going to add a border and set it to 1 to see what happens. At the moment, we don't have much, just this line here. So let's add in the table content so we actually have something to show. We must place the table head tag. So here we add T head, and just like that, the table head is in. Inside the T head tag, we'll place a row by adding the TR tag. Learn pack tells us to set the header to 40 pixels. So we enter the with a height attribute of 40 pixels. And in the style, we set the background color to red as instructed. Now within the TR tag, which is a row, we will place three columns that will be part of our table header. We input the three header tags here, hit the run button, and notice we've got a red column. Perfect. Next, inside the table tag, we add another tag called table body or T body. Inside the T body, we do something similar to what we've done within the T head. We add these columns and rows. For now, I'll just copy and paste it, hit run, and see what happens. You'll see the three columns are created in order, and that's because each of these rows stack one on top of the other. The T head and T body tags help us define the header and the content of our table respectively, and each of the rows inside holds our columns. There should be the same number of columns in each row for everything to make sense. Notice the difference in that the columns within T head have auth tags, and those within the T body have auth D tags to make it all look right and give our table a proper format. That is pretty much it. So let's run the test button to see what happens. We look at the terminal, everything passed without a hitch, and we can move on to the next exercise. In this case, you could also add each of the names here to make the table more in line with the image. All tests passed with no issues, so we can proceed to the next task.